today I'm going to speak how we did the biggest black metal collaboration video. We argued a bit about the name, but we realized four of us it must be the biggest black metal collaboration video because there was never four black metal YouTubers on the same video. I know there are guys like that noob from Mayhem or that uh, Nazi Kevin Bacon guy, but you know, I'm open for all collaborations, so you know, only guys contact me, you know, I'm why don't those girls with nice boobs who play guitar contact me? I'm so fucked up. Said Sablest. You made little Sablest say it. Said Sablest. Anyways, uh, those three noobs. Simon uploaded the video. Uh, Farvan uploaded the video. That noob, uh, Simon from Slovenia, he uploaded the drone video. And I'm here to talk about the video, I guess, it's uh, because my English is the worst, so they can laugh at me, but you know, who gives a fuck about that? So, how we did this biggest black metal collaboration video? I'll talk mostly about the mix, because I was in charge for that. Stay tuned! Hello guys, I'm Sablast, so now we'll check the mix. Uh, every one of us had their jobs, let's say jobs. Uh, Simon did the lyrics, guitar and vocals. Uh, uh, Farron did uh, vocals, guitar and uh, video because, you know, from all, all four of us, he's like the best YouTuber. It's a YouTuber. There is such thing as black metal YouTuber. He's the most talented guy for videos. Uh, and I did the mix, bass, guitar and vocals, and Simon, the drummer, he only did drums because he's a drummer, he cannot do anything else, but we were, we were happy with him anyways, you cannot expect that much from a drummer anyways. Uh, so let's check the mix, <clears throat> first let, let's talk about drums, uh, so Simon, uh, he did a pretty good job and there was not, nothing, not much for me to do here, Pretty much, let's listen to the drums. Now let's check with with effects how we mix it and without effects. No effects. With effects. So there was not much for me to do, I just did the uh, basic EQ where I boosted some lows and a bit of highs, you know, maybe uh, double the lows from the highs, slight, uh, you know, shape on the middle and some basic compressor, uh, I used the built-in Reaper compressor and slight, slight reverb, you know, on fast drum drums you cannot have too much reverb and I think I've got a pretty nice drum tone. We are happy with the drums. Now bass, uh, let's say I think my mix is pretty good now. Uh, I really tried here and on the bass I think here I did a little mistake because the bass is a bit a little bit too loud, but you know me, I always try to encourage uh, bass in black metal. Uh, I think bass should have a bigger place uh, in the black metal mix. So I boosted it just a little bit so you can, you know, see how it's done. I love my bass parts, I think my bass sound is pretty good, just a little bit too loud. But you know, I sent it to the guys and they said it's okay, so fuck you. Uh, bass. Let's check the second riff now. With drums. So the bass uh, without the pecs. The 
So what I did with the base, uh, basically a little base preamp, TSC board, you can download that one for free. Some basic EQ, again built-in Reaper EQ. Uh, here I just uh, cut it the highs, highs a bit more. And on the end, uh, uh, I usually use more effects on bass, but here I just found out that using only uh, an SSL Native X compressor did the job, so I cut it just a bit below 0 dB. A uh, bit of threshold, bit of ratio. Uh, and I got this tone, and I think I didn't have to do more because it sounds pretty good for me now. And that's it. Now let's check guitars. So, again, bass. Drums. Now guitars, uh, guitars again, I wanted to play here a bit more with guitars, even as some compressor, I, I mean multi-band compressor, but I realized I used the most simple, simplest VSTs, uh, not the ones I even did that uh, these guitars mix after my uh, how to get that standard black metal tone on your guitars and uh, basically I did the same amount of VSTs but a bit different ones so I uh, played with TSC 808 Overdrive, uh, Legion uh, Amp, Legion Cabinets and Dragonfly Re Reverb, you know I use that one a lot and uh, pretty much that's, that's it, I tried with more, uh, more effects but it didn't work, I'm happy with them now uh, sounds pretty good to me, you know, the guys did the good, a good job recording guitars, I think I did as well, so pretty much there was no, uh, no need for too much bullshitting with the guitars, so let's check only guitar solo. <laughs> I didn't do dual tracking, we didn't do quad tracking, we did triple guitar, so one uh, left, one right and the center guitar and pretty much I think it sounds pretty interesting. So again, as I mentioned in my video how to record Black Metal Home, you have dual tracks, you have quad tracking guitars, but here we use three, uh, one in the center and pretty much where it doesn't, where the place really doesn't have the solo guitar uh we just uh, play the riffs and it sounds pretty the same riffs and sound sounds pretty good let's check for example this one <laughs> so pretty much really simple uh made guitars in the mix i try to add more VSTs, I even got it to half, half the VSTs I have now uh, but I realized keeping simple is a key to, to a good mix and of, of course if you record it good it's half of the work so like I mentioned on Simon's drums now the vocals, uh, let's check the vocals solo Simon first <coughs> vocals 
I have to say huge improvement on Farvan's vocals. You know, uh, he asked me for some tips. Of course, I said check my video uh, about basic black metal vocals, and uh, I will show you some other tricks. And he he started to kiss me. I said, oh, sorry, uh, Farvan, I don't, don't play for that team. I will show you some things. Uh, he thought I can give him my black metal vocals if we French kiss, but. You know, the reality is I showed him some tricks and now he got some real good vocals. Uh, jokes aside, real, really a huge improvement. I like to see people improve like that. That's, you know, uh, feels in my heart. Uh, again, <clears throat> I have to uh, show you this part. I just love this part when my vocals and Simon's uh, match into one. Check this. <laughs> So that first meeting, then sign So my, my, my screen was a bit lo uh, longer, so Simon could hop in, in the lyrics right away. And of course on the end we have uh, my vocals on the center, uh, Simon was I think right and Parvan was left. I panned both of them on 40%. So let's check it. Uh, me, then uh, Farm, and then Simon. Then I end with it, of course. Uh, now my vocal, uh, my uh, scream here wasn't that high, uh, but I want to show you something here on this scream, and it's this. So here the distortion. And now we'll talk about the effects. I didn't use the distortion here at all. It's something you have to do naturally. Don't use distortion, people, on your vocals. It sucks. Don't use it. I'll make a special video about that. Don't use distortion on your vocals. Now let's check uh, the vocals uh, mix. <clears throat> so first I did some uh, limiter. Of course, vocals are mixed. Uh, with the most VSTs, I did some slow limiter, uh, Speedfish, which is a great uh, free VST, I would highly suggest that you download that one especially for vocals, a bit of delay, a bit of EQ where I cut it some uh, lows, slight Rhea verb, which is a built-in uh, reaper reverb, okay not slight, let's say middle reverb, Again, an equalizer where I didn't cut the lows, I just boosted some highs, so I put that on different equalizer because I don't want uh, to mess with the equalizer which cuts my lows. And on the end, here I used a compressor. Uh, usually I don't use compressor on vocals, but here I used uh, SSL, not built-in Reaper uh, e uh, compressor. I used the SSL Native a X compressor, and here I cut it on 12 db and i think it sounds pretty cool so no distortion on the vocals please do not use distortion as an effect on vocals it must be natural let's check one more time see, see distortion how it works and people that's it that's how uh, we did the song i'm here for the mix i showed them show you the mix I, i'm pretty with, happy with it just you know, maybe a bass should be a bit lower, but again, as I'm happy with it, as I'm not happy with the bass being so low uh, that much, I'm happy with it. So I think, I hope you enjoy this video. See you next time, you know. And again, if someone wants to make a collaboration with me, just, you know, I'm open for all ideas. Sabas has a lot of ideas, you know. Everything will come on this channel. You can see a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye.